this field. What were your initial uh, goals and expectations? My thoughts were to kind of lay low in the, in the first laps and uh, stay behind because the pace was going to go a little bit faster than what I was expecting. Uh, but all of a sudden, everyone started uh, dropping, uh, dropping down and running slower, and then I had to go around them when there, it was like uh, 700 meters to go. But uh, then I was just laying behind the team when almost waiting to uh, for someone to like keep up the pace and sorry to uh, start to go, but nothing happened. So. Yeah, with, with 200 meters to go, you made quite the move, and you had a lot of guys on you. you had Chalimo right on your tail, and, and you know an Olympic gold medalist in Centrowitz on the inside rail. Maybe I guess who were you expecting to be on your heels or or to challenge you over the last 50 meters? I have no idea. At least someone. <laughs> but uh, I, I was just waiting in the, the back straight for someone to for someone to kick, but nobody did. So I have to go on the inside and Chalimo and and go for the win because nobody else would. So yeah. So, so a PR in the books, and I think just for the American fans to know a little bit about back, about, about your situation, your background. Like, are you training with your brothers? Are you guys here right now? Like, where are you? You know, where are you kind of at in your in your in this year's training block? We stay in Flagstaff uh, because we like that altitude, and I'm uh, I'm pretty lucky because I can train with uh, two of the world's best uh, 1500 meter runners every day, my two older brothers. So. Uh, but I'm really happy with how we're in training and I'm really looking forward to a race a lot faster than today. Congrats on the on the, the PR and the win today and where are we going to see you next? Uh, probably in Eugene. Okay. Hopefully running the international mile and uh, trying to run faster. Congrats, man. Thanks. All right, back up to the booth.